Biological Institute. This is where I'm supposed to meet Professor Hartman. The gate's locked. Yes, can I help you? Hello, my name is Peters. I've got an appointment with Professor Hartman. I'm sorry, but he's no longer in the building. What? But he wanted to meet me here this evening. According to our database, the Professor is away on an expedition. He's already set off? But I was supposed to be going with him. Yes, well, not every department of this facility is as efficiently organized as the security department is. Shit. My boss is gonna go bananas when he finds out I've missed this shot. What am I supposed to do now? Can you hear me? Yes. Do you know exactly when the professor jilted me? Just a second. It looks like it was this morning. Do you know where the professor was headed? No, but you could ask his secretary. Great. Where is she? Uh, Frau Muller has already left for the weekend. She'll be back Monday morning. Have you got her home number? We do. But I couldn't possibly give out private staff details to members of the public. Be patient, and come back Monday. Patience is definitely not an option. No professor, no story. I need to find him as fast as I can. If I only knew where he was headed. Now I'm really in a jam. Could you perhaps pop along to Professor Hartman's office and see if he's left a note for me? If he had left you a note, then it would be here at reception, I'm sure. Does Professor Hartman have a cell number by any chance? Eh, doesn't look like it. We only have his office number here. Could you perhaps imagine letting me into his office for just a mo? If you'd like to know precisely, no, not in my wildest dreams. But I wish you a refreshing, stress-free weekend. Same to you. With bells on. Looks like I'm gonna have to help myself. No gate stopped me before. I need to get into the professor's office to find out where he's gone. If I mess up this assignment, then that's my job out the window. The curbstone is full of chalk marks. Kids? No idea if this is relevant at all. The camera is covering the entire entrance. The doorman will be watching every move I make. Bio waste. It's certainly the right color. Wow, that stinks. Full to the brim with cartons and newspapers. A small rolled up carpet. Has someone lost their faith? The first accessory for my sailboat. Unfortunately, not all of the walls in Berlin got ripped down. I know Berlin punks are finding new body parts to punch holes in every day, but I think we've some years yet before all over body piercing comes into fashion. Although, with that security camera there, perhaps I could upload the result to YouTube and set the trend. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm no punk. The Biological Institute. This is where I'm supposed to be meeting Hartman. Damn it. Looks like it's home time already. The Humboldt University Biological Institute. There's a notice from garbage collection stuck on the letterbox. According to this, the BSR collects the waste paper first. Then another truck comes for the bio waste. The bulky stuff goes tomorrow. Waste paper collection's been and gone. Well, okay, but just this once. Where's it supposed to go? Sounds like a good plan. Now let's see what's in it. 
If I throw the carpet over the metal spikes, I could climb over easily enough. But then I'd be in full view of the security camera and the doorman would spot me. I need to find a better way. made it. Now I somehow have to get into the Institute and find Professor Hartman's office. A plastic box. That's what comes from leaving your tools lying around. Now if that's not the most cutest abandoned rake, A poorly coiled hose. Damn, the clamp is solid. I can't get the hose off. Freedom for garden hoses. The perfect entry assistance. Who needs a bolt cutter when head shears can do the job just as well? I've cut through the chains. I'll tie the hose as tightly as I can to the rake. I'll push the rake through both legs of the ladder and secure the whole thing with the garden hose. That is a sturdy ladder. Well done, Sam. Climbing through windows. A real cat burglar me. And look, the coast is clear. Here's a box of empty file folders. Forms and faculty notices. Not much interest to me. That's Lieschen Muller's office. That office belongs to a Dr. Fritz Schneider. And there it is, the exception to the rule. You don't always find something useful in waste bins. A snack machine. Each of these little calorie bombs costs a cool $1.99. You only live once. I'll take a bag of crackers. My snack, and one cent change. Professor Hartman's office. Won't open. That's a horse chestnut. It was tree of the year in 2005. How do I know that? It says so on the little sign. The one cent coin is thin enough to unscrew it. Amaze balls! Ugh, I have sunk to a new low. That'll work. I'll bet my sailboat on it. Phew! Okay, Sam. Find the damn info on where our perfidious professor's gone off to. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll get your story, a pay rise, and that nice little sailboat you're dreaming of. The cliche that professors are not exactly meat freaks might well hold true. But surely this is taking it to the next level. Hartman really must have left in a hurry. There are some scraps of torn up paper on the top. Hmm. There's some torn up paper on the top. I'll take a closer look. A ripped up fax. Now let's see if I can put this back together.
Ted's expedition party sent him a fax. They've discovered some hitherto unknown species. Great, but where, for heaven's sake? Unfortunately, there's only a code here. GHN7531. But maybe that'll help me further. Files with details of students' projects and the prof's expeditions. Maybe I'll find a clue here. These files all have GHN on them. This file is marked GHN7520 to GHN7535. It ought to contain notes from the current expedition. Bingo. GHN7531. The expedition has gone to Ghana, to Lake Basomtui. So what the hell are they looking for there? Lake Basomtui lies in the meteorite crater in Ghana's Ashanti region. It's eight kilometers in diameter, about 80 meters deep, and doesn't have an outflow. The ecosystem and the lake are endemic, meaning there are lots of plant and animal varieties that are unique to that location. The priority is investigating the effects on the ecosystem of a massive meteorite strike. Hmm, what's that on the facts? The expedition has discovered some previously unknown organism. If the story is big enough to pull the professor away with such short notice, perhaps it's big enough to buy me a boat. Let's hit the trail for Ghana and Lake Basum Tui. The flight to Accra via Amsterdam was pretty fuss-free. But the in-flight food was crappy, as expected. I was able to revive myself with some traditional foo-foo and a few Gordon Sparks in a chop shop before a bush pilot flew me into an airfield by Lake Basomtui. With a bit of luck, I'll be at the base camp in a few hours. <laughs>